Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. G Topo here. As today we take a look at another GI Joe Classified Series figure. This time it is number 70 on the list, and it is none other than Shipwreck, which got me a little curious as to why they didn't put his full name on the box like they've done with all the other figures. Um, I believe his name is Hector Delgado, so he is of Spanish um, ancestry, which is kind of good to know that uh, he was uh, Latino. Actually, I did not know he was actually Latino. I've been a fan of Shipwreck, uh, Outback, Shipwreck, and uh, one of the Vipers. I forgot which one it was, one of my first uh, G.I. Joe figures, and I've had him forever. And um, I had no idea that uh, Shipwreck was um, Latino. Um, maybe it explains why he was so loud in the comic books. Uh, in the comics so um so anyway without further ado um let's get uh shipwreck out of the box which on a side note i, I know they're gonna get rid of uh this kind of packaging and go back to the plastic but um as much as we i mean i'm not a box collector so it doesn't really matter as long as the figure is not busted or or you know qvc issues that we can't see um so far it hasn't been that bad except for cover girl which practically falls apart every time you touch her but um, I like this. I like what they've done with this these particular series where um, you get a, a nice image of the uh, figure itself with all its accessories on it. Um, you get a nice artist rendition, which I'm not too familiar with the artist, so um, I couldn't tell you. But I, they, it's a great looking rendition. And on the side of the box, as you can see, I got a better view. And then on the back, it pretty much tells you the height. Um, it gives you another picture of all the accessories and everything that comes with it and then with the alternate headpiece it also gives you a picture of that or how he will look so well without further ado we are actually going to open this up which with these unknown um not being able to see them because of the plastic i just like to open them live um on the video or not live because but you know what i mean right on not go off screen to do it because if any issues or stuff um I can just go ahead and um, we all could witness this for the first time, not just me. So, um, so far, so good. And then this is the locker. No, nothing else. I put that to the side. And then, of course, his locker here has all his uh, weapons inside. Uh, uh, legal stuff that I do not need. And then let's get this open here. Again, the one thing about G.I. Joe Classifier is that they do have uh, enough accessories to make up for the uh, not having extra hands and not uh, having extra heads. And then oh, I like the nice touch there. So uh, I guess so the headpiece. Oh, it does come off, so it doesn't come loose. So that explains that box there. Oh, might as well take it out now. And then let's get uh, shipwreck out of the box itself. And again, with the newer series, you get this nice also rendition again in black and white of the actual uh, figure that cover art that was on the uh, on the box itself. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And let's put the headpiece on there because it looks weird. Surprise how easily. No, oh, all right. So it doesn't come all that easily. So. All right, let's stand them up for now. And again, I like these pieces also. I always wish that when you could line them up the lockers, that they had the numbers in the front there. That would have been cool. Or that the name was actually from, you know, front that way actually. So then when you stand them up, it'll have shit right there. But no, I mean, still not bad. All right, so let's uh, move this in a little bit more, get a better view of shit right there. All right, let's look at some of the accessories. It has a nice little silver anchor there. Nice detail. And then it has the rope with the hook for the anchor. Which is, uh, will come loose easily. But then I, it also has a hook, so once we put it together, we'll, it'll be look better on, on, on his hook there, on his... Uh, utility belt um, and then it has a nice uh, piece there as you can see the nice detail on it that's a cross in there too 
Uh, I didn't realize it. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Right there. It has almost like a rosary type chain. And then it has an anchor on that side. Oh, maybe it's an anchor. Kind of just looked like a cross to me. My bad. So it's actually an anchor with some rope. Nice. It does not have a hole, so if you have effects, you won't be able to plug it into this one. And then he has that old style pirate gun. It's nice detail on it. Um, and I guess, I don't understand this, why it has that uh, rope attachment to it. I mean, it could probably do without. It looks a lot better without it. But I like the chrome finish on it. Detail there on the paint. Um, just a little off there on the painting but such a small thing I'm sure they made the mistake on all of them but other than that everything else is nice it's a nice uh, double again it doesn't have the holes so you can pl plug in the effects but and it's a nice piece yeah this is actually one of the better pieces I like the color and the tone and the, not too crazy about the rope on it but yeah I mean look at that it's actually not bad nice details there yeah, nice. Um, of course, and it has the uh, hair piece, the alternate uh, hair piece there for the hat. And then, of course, uh, it comes with poly. Um, no articulation, no wings like um, Spirit and his falcon and his uh, bird. But can um, the detail still on it? I mean, the beak and the feathers I mean it's nice detail nicely done and of course he has a wooden leg to plug on pug and to uh to peg into his arm nice again we'll put this all together later and see what it looks like now on to Shepard so like I stated before I've uh didn't have much figures growing up we couldn't really afford it I don't know back even back then they were a lot cheaper but still um but I knew I had all back I had chipwreck had a couple of vipers um, and some other off-brand G.I. Joe type um, rip-offs. And, um, but man, I, I remember I had rip uh, shipwreck for long. I mean, Jesus, I had him until I was uh, in my late 20s. And I don't know if he's still in my mom's house somewhere or, or whatnot, but oh, man, it looks just like that three-inch, three-quarter inch figure. Is that going to be a problem? No, no, actually, it's a lot better. I mean, I'm wary now of this part of any G.I. Joe figures after uh, CoverGirl. But, I mean, they've uh, improved them better with this series. I mean, I did uh, tor Torpedo not too long ago, and, and that figure, I mean, not a huge, huge fan of Torpedo, but, man, now I, I can't. I mean, it's, I mean, the detail, I mean, look, at they even got the little washed off. On top of the jean, um, like the dirt smudges. I mean, look at that. I mean, the the insignia on the uniform. Look at the shark tattoo. Nice. And I like it that they actually put it in a good place so it doesn't look all awkward with the uh, separation there of the joints. Oh, nice. And then the faded anchor tattoo. Nice touch, because that's usually what it looks like. If you look at anybody that had tattoos back in the day, that green just would fade out. Um, and then the insignia on the other side, that's nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't come off, but you touch it and it just comes right off. So, oh, yeah. But look at the details of the face. Uh, he's got the little chest hairs sticking out. I mean, look at that. Nice. I mean, this is the holster there. And then for the smaller gun. I mean, it does move. And like always, I am not going to dwell on the articulation. The G.I. Joe's articulations are pretty good for posing. Um, I mean, you get some good movement. So we're not going to. They're basically all standard. But this is a nice looking shipwreck. And again, brings back memories when I used to play around with the three-quarter inch shipwreck and outback and 
Um, Dalton, which is another one, which I can't wait for them to come up with Dalton. Because um, then it would complete the favorite four figures that I had at the time. So they ended up being my favorite because that's basically the only ones I had. I had a couple of Vipers, but um, when it comes to the uh, actual G.I. Joe figures that I had, it was uh, Shipwreck, Outback, Dalton. Um, damn, and what was the other one? Well, it'll come to me, but um, I forgot what the other one was. But damn, this is a nice lifeline. That was it. Lifeline was uh, my other one. So, uh, was it Lifeline? Yeah, that's his name, Lifeline. The medic one. But yeah, I mean, this is, let's see what he looks like. Since this keeps coming off, might as well try on the new headpiece. Um, it seems to be a little loose. Does it come off if I shake it? No, it doesn't. I mean, but you touch it and you can, oh, it almost did. So... But I'm not too, it's not the shipwreck I remember, so he's definitely going to always have the little sailor cap there. And let's um, see how he looks with all his stuff on him together. Okay, yeah, nice. And then his, uh, this way, nope, it will have to be this way, I think. Let's see. It looks better that way or this way. Doesn't really go. Let's see how he is in the in the box. Oh, they don't have it. He has it on his hand. But I think it might look better this way. Yeah, much better. Um, and where does the hook? Oh, wait. My bad. So, I guess... I guess this goes over his arm. Like so. And then you have the anchor there. And then, of course... Oh, should have done it on camera. And then Polly is right there. Again, sometimes I do wish that they would have some alternate hands because, you know, when you're posing them and, you know, he's just sticking out there with his trigger finger out there. Um, and then you can't really move Polly. So he kind of... I mean... Maybe if you put it backwards. It might look a little better. Or, you know what... It'll be much better here. It looks a lot better right there. If you put him in the arm, he's just staring at him. So there it goes. Uh, looking at Polly there. So, so yeah, nice, a nice figure there. They've really nailed them. They're getting better and better. I mean was a little afraid with a couple of figures, but they've uh, they've actually got it together. They're actually getting better and better. So, which is a good thing. Actually, I don't know. the hook doesn't really look better there. The anchor there. I think I, I think it might look better in the back. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, very 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 nice figure. Uh, I mean, they've been nailing. I mean, some of these uh, figures, they're, they're really nailing it. So, they are really taking, like, really, really paying attention to the details of each figure. Um, even that, even the buckle, didn't notice that. Even the buckle is nicely detailed. I wish it was removable, you know, but yeah, they are. There's pockets there. Yeah, this is uh, incredible. They've done a really good job. I'm not too crazy about the hole there. But, I mean, again, they could have done it where the head was moved. Because if you put him on there, he's always going to be staring at him. Can't really have him, you know, if you want him facing out, you're going to have to be posing him with his arm out like that. So, I think he'll look much better up there. 
And again, he's staring at him, doesn't look out. So it would have been nice that you were able to move Polly's head a little bit. I mean, I know for the size it might have been a little difficult, but I think it could have been done. But great figure. They are getting better and better. Um, you know, I moved away from another brand to focus more on G.I. Joe's and Mark Farland. So um, I'm definitely going to, in the future, uh, I'll be able to uh, get some, uh, maybe some new orders and hopefully someday get the Cobra Eels and a few more Vipers and stuff down the line. Um, rock and Roll and all these other nice figures that are uh, pre-ordered now for some people. I'm going to hold off and wait a little long before I can uh, go ahead and, and get them. Um, it's been a little tight lately, but yeah, I mean, this is uh, nice. Um, again, guys, uh, thank you for uh, stopping by the channel. Tell me what you think of Shipwreck. Do you think uh, G.I. Joe Classified has uh, finally nailed it? Um, with all their figures, finally got it right. Or um, you think they still might need some twigging around on some of the other figures and stuff. But I don't know, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of Shipwreck, if you do have it. Or if you are going to plan on getting it or not. Um, either or. And as always, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And also, as always, take care of each other. Continue to be a fine figure. And I will definitely see you later. Mm -hmm.